all right we're back again with another episode hey everyone it's libra season and it's balance it's the time to balance everything balance the checkbook balance your mood balance your love life balance your chakras balance your ph <laughs> all right this next reading is a libra reading during Libra season on this late night show. So guys, we'll give it up. Get a drummer sum for the star of the story. Libra, Woo! welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Sergio Brock Cersei. And we, we're gonna see what comes out for Libra today. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So what is Libra? What is Libra? What are we gonna start out with? Extend your lighthearted energy to others. That flipped off my thumb in reverse. So I don't feel like you're open to flirt with anybody, but it's your natural aura. You're in your element of balance. It's time to preserve some of my energy. You feel what I'm saying? Someone is engaging in your content or in your energy or just in, want to engage with you and extend their lighthearted energy with you and you're not very receptive of it not at the moment. Not right now. I don't know. That fan is strong as all hell. Okay. Let's 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 get started. Uh, I like that the ten of cups is on the bottom. This gives me pursuit of happiness with Libra. It gives me mind minding your business, minding the business that pays you. Four of Cups, Three of Cups, King of Wands. Someone is disappointed that you don't want to extend your lighthearted energy to them anymore. With the Four of Cups in the upright, is discerning that that didn't make me happy. I'm going to go figure out what does, or I'm going to move in, in the direction of what does. Social networking with three of cups. The king of wands is a very masculine energy. Very, he thought, I just feel like this person overused their looks. And they didn't, they didn't stimulate you in a way where they, they had that potential to. You dig? And it just didn't work with you. I just, I feel an empty spirited energy with this king of wands. Okay, that's flipped over. So, Eight of Pentacles. Someone is disappointed that it didn't work out. Ace of Swords and Knight of Swords. Okay, so your common sense sense kicked in about this King of Wands, and your your energy is being kept from this person. So these three cups that's in the middle is the three cups that's right here. That's who this person is friends with, and this one cup. I feel like with this one cup that's passed to them, they're discerning what to do. Because right now they feel kind of ugly as it pertains to you. They feel like they're not good enough. Feelings of inadequacy, but I, I get with this four cups. So there's a mental clarity and a razor sharpness that this person possessed but didn't use on you. But also what I see with you is you're cutting out dating for a while with the three of cups. And I don't think you're blaming this King of Wands. I just think you feel like the timing is, is not right now. Maybe you could have told this King of Wands that it's a not right now. It also gives me the energy that you're standing up for your, for what you want. 
and you're not afraid to go after it. Especially with the, this is the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is shrewd in business. It's like you're pointed in a di another direction that is more fulfilling for you. That's going to make you happy. So what does this King of Wands want with Libra? This King of Wands have something to say right now. I heard, I object. I got something to say right now. I don't want you to wait. This person is impulsive. Okay. So. This person is going to try to come in all fast and say something to you. And it's like, it's me. This, his, him being in this Knight of Swords energy is meeting you with the Ace of Swords. So whatever they have to say, you already made up your mind that you're keeping your energy to yourself and working on other things. You're working on yourself and other things. So what is this Knight of, this King of Wands trying to say to, to Libra? I heard, I don't mean no disrespect. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So what, somebody else got your time, Libra? That's what they want to say. They're a little jealous because they think somebody else has your time. And they actually have addictions and a codependent. They have codependencies. When you are with this person, you are met with a string of codependencies. And some of it pertains to entertaining beautiful women. You were one of those beautiful women until you decided not to be. I don't feel like you're as deep with this person as these other women. You didn't put up a fight about this person. You stayed in that receptive energy. This person likes things about you, but they also have a, a need for control with this codependency. And now they think somebody, the first thing is their ego took a hit and they're disappointed that they don't have your energy anymore. So that's the first thing they're going to say is, oh, somebody else has your time. Well, who are you fucking? You know, that kind of energy. That, that rude energy and that controlling energy, like they have possession and ownership over you. So maybe that explains what this Knight of Swords is like. The first thing they want to do is make you feel guilty. But you already met, you already have the mental clarity that this person is in a weak space and they're in a codependent space. They have to hit the rock bottom. Okay, you're not putting them down or talking down to them, but you are also letting them know you're not it. Clear, concise, direct, and to the point. This, this King of Wands has a warm heart for you, nonetheless. Regardless of what they're doing with their time, they want you to understand that. They know you understand that, even if they didn't verbalize it. They take advantage of your intellect, your high intellect and your passion. And you're, 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 you, can, you can catch on quickly, but that's not enough. If you didn't say it, why the hell does it matter? And you're not showing it, so why the hell does it matter? That's the mental clarity you come in with. Libra, during Libra season. I heard every season. Because this is boring. It's old and it's boring. Okay, so this is, it's, there's this other reader. Uh, she She's called Heaven Sent. And I remember it's a, it was a reading you had to buy. Sometimes she has like a 30 second clip and a link to buy a reading. And this reading where she was like, you fucked up when you fucked me. I think she made this reading like two or three years ago. Because I remember when I, I was um, I was still working as a, a medical professional. And I, I love that reading so much where it's like, this, this lose the act is getting old and it's getting fucking boring. And she was like, you fucked up when you fucked me. So fall in line with the motherfucking rest. And oh man. I wish I can give us an email to get into that reading because that's what this energy is giving. They want to try to keep it lighthearted, but they know they fucked up with you. Because And now it's like, I don't want to be a player no more. It's like they're discerning now. They're disappointed. It's like none of these other options are it. Okay? They're thinking about you in a way where it's like discerning. Should I continue this shit? Because now they got to stand back on their heels. Okay? Because common sense, they quick wit. They're not dumb. Is do, or do they have the manhood to pull it off, okay? Because they, they're so used to being in control and being a player. You dig what I'm saying? And now they're worried about you extending your lighthearted energy with somebody else. So it's a thing where it's like, I don't want to be a player no more. I want to be with you. It's like, yeah, okay, fall in line with the motherfucking rest. You fucked up when you fucked me. Because now you can't play the same games anymore. And it ain't the fact that 
they can't it's more than them not being able to play with you it's also the fact that they don't get up for these motherfuckers neither <gasps> disappointed they don't have the mind intrigue for these people neither dun 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 all right let's keep going what else does labor need to know you damn right you're gonna be cool with others but it ain't heavy hearted with this three of cups being happy and harmonious balance libras are very harmonious so they extend that lighthearted energy to whomever whenever is a mind intrigue to them and it's nothing this king of wands he can't even use his prettiness he can't even use his wand you see how his legs open is he working with something he playing with a check if you know what i'm saying and that don't even work not for these girls and you don't want it so that's a double whammy it's like fuck fuck this you know what i gotta do better i'm gonna take a break today i'm gonna do better tomorrow got damn six months to a year later hopefully not but i'm gonna take a break today i'm gonna do better tomorrow heavy procrastination i feel a laziness with this king of wands They can spin a block all fucking day. Libra's not paying attention. This like to come out of everybody's reading. This this four wines is stability. This four wines is graduation. Your hard work is paying off. You got a new house. You got a new job. You got a new business. You got a new partnership. It, it equates to all of them. And the two of pentacles is in reverse. You're not offering your support to this person anymore. There was a once upon a time where you would look out for this person. And then you got the seven of the chariot. What am I saying? Seven of what? The chariot is a seven. It's in reverse. So the ride is over. The bus stops here. He was like lazily hanging on to you without trying to put in no real effort. He's salty now. He's salty. What else? about the four wands there you go the justice secret society he feel left out and cast out that you are in partnership with other people maybe he see it in his mind's eye and then you have the nine of pentacles in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse he can't juggle you with the rest and now he doesn't want to he's kind of like codependent on you he's addicted to you and then the sun Listen, Libra, you can make your own mind up naturally, but you are what he wants. You are what makes him happy. He don't know how to say it yet, and you don't have to take my reading. You can take my reading for the confirmation of what you know to be true, but do not reach out to him or do anything pertaining to directing your energy to him. He's got to pull his skirt back down and grow a set for best choice of words, and he has to come to you. Okay? No faith equals no Libra. I like that for the reading, for the, the reading title. No faith equals no Libra. You fucked up when you fucked Libra, and now you stuck on Libra, and that's a codependency. He need that shit like it's a drug, like it's a refined sugar, but not in a toxic sense. So it can't be a refined sugar. He needs you like you matcha tea, and the other girls is caffeinated. Caffeine, caffeine is a drug. So you're weaning him off of addictions, and now he likes agave. He likes pure maple syrup. He likes your honey love. He likes monk fruit, anything healthy in the book that prevents diabetes. That's you, Libra, and that's it. So you gotta fall in line with the rest. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This motherfucker want to apologize with the five of wands in reverse for, for being weak spirited and trying to possess you. Yeah, that was a dud. That was a lack of clarity. You didn't listen to God on this one. Well, he, well, that's okay, Libra, because what you're doing, this is confirmation that where you're going is working. And I, it ain't it ain't because you're not putting a focus on how it's making other people feel, it's making them feel, giving them something they can feel.